everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to optimize your WordPress site for speed. But before we jump into this video, I do want to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like the video for more awesome WordPress, setting up WordPress, e-commerce related content we post it here nearly every single day. Now before we get started, I do want to mention this is not going to get you 100% on the Google Page Speed Grader. To be honest, I don't even know if that is possible with WordPress. Out of the box, WordPress isn't that optimized for speed. However, and luckily, I'm going to be installing four plugins today that optimize it more and will help you get that page speed grade up, make it acceptable to search engines, and just overall improve the speed of your site. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. Now the first plugin we're going to be downloading, and all four of these are linked down below by the way, is Lazy Load. Now this is an outdated plugin, I'm not going to lie, but it works just the same now as it did back in the day, and I still use it because of that. So I'm going to go ahead and download it, and by the way, if this does stop working, I will know I use it on all my sites, and thus I will go ahead and change that in the description. So as long as this is still down there, it is still working, but if we go ahead and download this plugin go over here and we're gonna install it now the thing about this plugin is it's really really difficult to set up literally all you do is go in here and install it like you would any other plugin and it's gonna be done very very difficult as you can tell there's no menu settings there's nothing when you activate the plugin it just works because it does one thing. It makes your images what's called lazy load. What lazy load is, is when you're scrolling down a site, right? Let's say we go over here to the breakdown. When you land on this site, it loads this image first. But if I scroll down really, really quickly, as you can see, it was try it was loading images as they showed up on the page. If we go to another article here, let's say this one right here, we will be able to see the same thing happen, right? It loads this image first, and then as I scroll down, it loads more, right? So see, that just kind of popped up. This one, boom. And see, that helps because it loads your full site above the fold, and then you can scroll down and load more as time goes on, right? Pretty easy, pretty simple stuff, but that's what Lazy Load does, and as long as you literally download, install, and activate it, it's working on your site. Now, I want to install Auto Optimize. What this is going to do is minify some JavaScript, move some CSS around, things like that to make your page more acceptable to Google and overall improve site speed. So let's go ahead and give this one the quick little download and install it and I'll show you guys how to set it up. This one is actually more difficult than just installing the plugin. Still not difficult, but it's not as easy as lazy load. So once we get this installed here, I'll see you guys in a second. Boom, there you go, plugin installed. We can go ahead and activate the plugin and it will be good to go. I wanna go in here and set some stuff up for you guys. That way you know exactly what needs to happen. So once once it's activated, we can go over here to settings and then go to auto optimize right there. It will then open up the auto, auto optimize settings page. Now, as you can see, it's already popped this up up top and it's doing some caching for us. So when we're in here, this is just like the basic stuff that it wants you to set up. And yes, you want to optimize HTML, you want to optimize JavaScript, and you want to optimize CSS. If you have a CDN, which is a content delivery network, then you can input that there and get that working. However, I don't. At this point, that's probably going to be where we move in the future is setting up CDNs. But setting up one on this test site would be pointless. If we do that, we'll do it on the breakdown. But nevertheless, let's do that. So there's the main. And then we can go through, click on extra here. Remove core emojis. If you don't want emojis in WordPress and you never use them, you can click that off. I actually do use them in some of my articles, so I'm not going to do that remove query strings I always leave this unclicked because as you can see it will not improve load time might improve performance scores though and I don't really care too much about performance scores if you're going for that high Google speed score you might click this but I'm not gonna do that Google fonts if you know enough about your theme to know whether or not you're using Google fonts you can remove them leave them combine and link in head truthfully the best thing you probably do is combine and link them in the header um, that's gonna optimize it the most but I'll just leave it as is for now and pre-connected third-party domains none of that as well as JavaScript async. I don't know about that. If you're more into JavaScript and you know more about that, then you can optimize that there. This is very base level, and as you can see, just some of their recommendations. So there's that, right? Boom. Auto optimize is set up. It's now doing some caching as well as minifying your JavaScript, HTML, and CSS to uh, make things more in line. Now, if we want to close out of that one, there's two more plugins we need to install. This is the big one, W3 Total Cache, and it's been installed by over a million people, currently active on sites. We use it on the breakdown, and it is an awesome plugin 
for optimizing speed, caching your site, and making sure everything works well. So I'm going to go get this installed and I'll meet you guys once I've got it activated. So after W3 Total Cache is activated, you're going to have a big, big tab over here in the left hand menu bar as you can see performance down here at the bottom and it's got a ton of options. I'm going to go ahead and start with the general settings and then we're actually going to go down through all of these. Now it's going to take a while but I promise it's going to be worth it. So page cache we want that enabled. Disk enhance is technically what you want to go 99% of the time. So that's what we're going to go with here. Minify, we actually don't want to do this. The reason we don't want to do this is because Auto Optimize is doing that for us. I've seen better results minifying with Auto Optimize than I have W3 Total Cache. So we're going to leave that as it is. Opcode Cache, you probably aren't going to be able to do. Database Cache, we can enable that. And again, we want to use Disk. Object Cache, we can do that as well. And go ahead and do Disk. Browser Cache, that's enabled. And again, Content Delivery Network. If you don't have a content to delivery network no reason to use this anyway reverse peroxy keep that off monitoring this is basically just if you want to check into things and see how they're going with their API can't do that fragment cache we're gonna go in here and select disk on that licensing we don't have a licensing key all this stuff you can just read through yourself debug right there it's just if you want to have any debugging issues or if you have any issues you could turn this on we're not gonna do that and that'll be that and you can save all settings boom now you might think Cool, this is set up, and it is for the most part, but I would encourage you to go down through each of these individually here on the side, read through them, and make sure everything is good to go. There are more settings down here, but I'm actually not going to go through all of them. If you have any questions about any specific settings in NW3 Total Cash, just let me know in the comments. How? I'm going to give you a very specific method here, and I'll be happy to help. I reply to all comments, but I need to know exactly where you're at. So what you're going to do for me is come over here to performance, look at what page you're on, right? And then look at what's in bold here. So let's say you're looking at rejected cookies, right? Go over here to performance. You're going to say you're in performance, page cache, rejected cookies, and I'll be happy to help you out. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and install the last thing on the site here, and that's going to be WP Smush. And this is a image optimization plugin. Again, all these are linked down below. So I'm going to go ahead, download this, install it, and I'll see you here in one second. So once you've got WP Smush it installed, there's not really much to do except optimize your old images, right? So when you jump in here, it'll go through this setup process. You do want to automatically smush your images on upload. If you're a photographer, you might want to is preserve XF data. If not, then that's fine. And resize my full images. I don't like to do that. I don't like optimizing that. So go ahead and click get started. It will then go ahead and set all these settings and then it should open up to the page that we were on right now. Here. Now you want to click book smash and it will go through and optimize all of the stuff on your WordPress site, smush all of your images and do all that. It won't optimize everything. It'll just optimize your images and make them as small as possible. Just a little shout out. I do use an image optimizer here, Optimizilla. I'm going to link that down below. I'd recommend running all of your images through this at 90% compression in order to really get things compressed and then uploading them to WP Smush and your WordPress site to get them even more compressed. I actually don't see much quality loss doing that. So that's something that a little pro tip because images slow down sites more than anything. Nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome WordPress related tips. Nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you should now be pretty optimized for speed on WordPress. You should see significant site load time. When we did all this on the breakdown, we literally saw some pages go from five seconds of load time to less than two seconds of load time from just these four little optimizations. Absolutely insane. So nevertheless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel. All that awesome stuff. This has been Nick and this has been The Breakdown. And I'm out guys. Peace.